Considered man's best friend, dogs are normally good-natured, loyal, and affectionate. However, some have a reputation for being anything but. Not that this is necessarily true for every dog of the same breed. In fact, this video, which is for educational purposes only, from the highly protective American bully to the dog held responsible for the most fatalities from dog attacks in the U.S. over a 13-year period, here are 15 most dangerous dog breeds in the world. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15, American Bully Dog. For the most part, the American Bully Dog is a very content, friendly dog that is very loyal and considered a perfect fit for a family that requires both a loving, loyal pet and protective guard dog. From a physical standpoint, it has a very athletic appearance with a muscular frame. The American Bully also displays plenty of strength and agility. First introduced during the 1990s for the sole purpose of creating an ideal companion for families, the breed is known to be very affectionate, but can also be quite defensive. Highly protective and persistent, the American Bully Dog may not react well if it feels its owner is threatened in any way. Under these circumstances, it will not shy away from taking the attacker down, even to the point of death if need be. Number 14. American Pitbull Terrier This particular breed of pitbull is one of the many reasons as to why this type of dog has such a negative reputation. With a huge 65.6% of dog-related fatalities in the U.S. over a 13-year period due to the American Pitbull Terrier. It is a very combative breed, more than capable of killing its enemy. However, many cases of violence towards humans have been solely due to poor handling or abuse. If raised in the right environment, this species is incredibly intelligent and playful. They are very popular in the US. However, they are difficult to find in Europe due to being listed as dangerous and prohibited. The pit bull may be classified as one of the most aggressive dogs with some truly horrific attacks attributed to them over the years, but the blame cannot be solely placed on the breed, rather its owner. Number 13. Rottweiler. Another breed with a bad reputation is the Rottweiler. A common domestic dog, this medium to large dog has an interesting backstory that may help explain some of its more negative traits. In Germany, they were initially given the name Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which basically meant butcher's dogs. Until the railway lines were established in the mid-19th century, they were predominantly used to herd livestock and drag cartloads of meat to markets. In some places around the world, they are still used for this exact purpose, but the rest of the world has evolved, now utilizing them on the police force and the military as a means to search, rescue, and protect. Following the Second World War, the species really began to increase in popularity, especially in the US, with its high level of obedience said to be its key characteristic. Around the mid-90s, Rottweiler numbers rose dramatically with more than 100,000 registered with the American Kennel Club. The rapid spike in numbers brought with it bad publicity. Many breeders took it upon themselves to use them as a cash grab, breeding massive amounts of pups with little regard to their health. It was at this time that several scenarios where the dogs became violent arose, with the breed responsible for 45 fatal attacks over a 13-year period, a close second to the American Pit Bull Terrier. Number 12, German Shepherd. Easily one of the most popular and high-demanded dogs in the U.S., the German Shepherd is highly regarded for a number of reasons. Considered one of the most capable and intelligent breeds in existence, their courage and loyalty is unmatched. This versatility is what has led many to be trained as service dogs within the police and military. They are one of the most faithful companions you can find in a pup, and they are excellent guard dogs. Wary of strangers and completely devoted to their owners, the German Shepherd is willing to give its life to save its owner or handler. 
A large, double-coated dog that has a demanding lifestyle in terms of health and well-being, owners are warned it takes a lot of work to keep them content. Although intelligent, they are also one of the most dangerous. But good training and upbringing will ensure the German Shepherd is a faithful companion. Number 11. Deutscher Boxer First introduced in Germany in 1895, the Deutscher Boxer is currently the eighth most popular dog in the U.S. Resulting from breeding the Old English Bulldog and the now extinct Bullenbeiser, the Brindle and White Canine is known for its square muzzle and obvious underbite. They possess a very strong and powerful jaw, which allows them to bite down hard on prey, killing it with ease. The Boxer is usually very calm, fearless, and composed, but needs plenty of careful attention. Although a loyal and devoted member of the household, they have the ability to display aggressive characteristics, particularly if they feel Feel their owner is in danger. Their aggression may also be attributed to poor training or to pain and discomfort. The boxer also has a tendency to misbehave when not given a certain level of attention. They are great company and, with the right training, can be excellent, reliable, and obedient companions. Number 10. Doberman the powerful and energetic Doberman is the perfect candidate for a guard dog. Originally from Germany, they are also very loyal, affectionate, and protective of their owners and children. Named after dog catcher, night patrolman, and rate collector Herr Louis Doberman, who lived in Apoldo in the 19th century, the Doberman was specifically bred as a guard dog. There's no information on which dogs were bred to create the dog. However, speculation has the mix options including the Great Dane, German Shepherd, Weimrunner, Manchester Terrier, or the Greyhound. Dobermans are muscular, quick, and strong. Their bodies are sleek, athletic, and capable of taking down the most expert of intruders. Many see them as a threat as they can be ferocious at times. This is due to their bite. It is so powerful that it's capable of over 305 PSI of pressure, which is just enough pressure to break a bone or snap a tennis ball clean in half. They have what is called a scissor bite, which means their teeth smash together very precisely when they bite down, allowing them to hold on to whatever they're biting with great ease. Their bite is relatively unorthodox as they immediately release to then bite again in rapid succession, inflicting a lot more damage in a shorter span of time. Number 9. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute was initially bred for its strength and endurance. These traits see them used as sled dogs, very similar to other Arctic dogs such as the Canadian Eskimo, the Siberian Husky, and the Samoyed. The Malamute is a very affectionate, loyal dog, easily recognized by its fluffy tail, pointy ears, and its hefty frame. As friendly and protective as they are, these dogs can be rather difficult to train and need to be challenged and exercised regularly to ensure they grow and develop into a solid guardian. If left to their own devices, they become bored, causing them to become rather rambunctious. They express this by howling and chewing everything in their path. Some of the more notable cases include chewing through drywall, sofas, and even converting their owner's yards into craters. Malamutes can be very aggressive, often preying on smaller animals or pets. When the breed gets into a scuffle, it can end very badly for the other party. In some cases, it can even be fatal. Under no circumstances should a Malamute be left with another animal, unless they have spent significant supervised time together previously and no problems have arisen. Number 8. Chow Chow The ancient Chinese breed Chow Chow is quite intriguing. Both powerful and compact, they are full of surprises. With a lion-like mane, a blue-black tongue, and almond-shaped eyes, the Chow Chow comes in a range of colors and coat textures, from very smooth to rough. Owners find them very easy to domesticate as they are very calm, particularly around other animals. They are also loyal to their owners, making them highly aware of strangers and other dogs. They adapt quickly to new surroundings and don't require a strenuous training regime. Currently one of the most ancient animals still in existence, the Chow Chow has a pretty ruthless bite. Bad news for anyone or anything that dares oppose it. In fact, the aggressive side of its temperament is said to be very difficult to manage. Bred for the purpose of hunting, the Chow Chow has been compared to a cat. It might look all sweet and innocent, but don't be fooled. They've got a mean streak. Number 7. 
Perro de Preza Canario. A rare breed, the Perro de Preza Canario, or Canary Mastiff, was bred specifically for working livestock. If you're looking for some help down on the farm, however, these canines do require some serious work. They have a rough history of being involved in dogfights and countless brutal attacks, with two blamed for the death of lacrosse player Diane Whipple and her coach in 2001. In a more recent case, a woman in County Galway, Ireland, was attacked and killed by three Mastiffs owned by her son. Bred from the Canary Islands, the Canary Mastiff is difficult to train and has been banned in both Australia and New Zealand, with authorities there concerned about their naturally aggressive attributes. Number 6. Sharpei The Sharpei, or Chinese Wrinkle Dog, originated from China. However, like several others, there's still some debate over how exactly it came to be. Many believe it has ties to the Chow Chow as they both have purple tongues and similar tails. However, that's all speculation and nothing concrete. Illustrations of the Sharpei have featured on pottery for several centuries. Therefore, the Sharpei is considered an ancient breed. Their skin has extra folds, which are said to have been useful in dog fights, making the dog difficult for its adversary to grip onto. Nowadays, the folds are simply part of the dog's charm, making them in hot demand. The Sharpei is incredibly loyal and a tremendous watchdog, but also very territorial, meaning they need to be fenced off if possible. They are mainly gentle and affectionate dogs, but sudden changes in their environment can cause problems. Therefore, they aren't suited to kennels or staying away from their owners for long periods. If that isn't bad enough, they also have their fair share of health issues, often suffering from skin conditions, ear infections, and in some cases, have a few eye problems. Problems. Number 5. Great Dane This pup is massive, standing at an impressive 32 inches at the shoulder. When standing on its hind legs, the Great Dane is often taller than the average human being. Although intimidating, in most cases, if trained well, these dogs are some of the friendliest and most patient around. Great Danes are rather refined, sleek, and elegant beasts. Their bodies are massively muscular and athletic, arguably putting most Olympic athletes to shame. Its size is very intimidating for most people, which is understandable, as it's not often you lock eyes with a dog that weighs and measures almost as much as yourself. As sweet as these dogs are, and as good as their track records are as guard dogs, they need to be nurtured properly to grow to respect the people around them and learn what is right and wrong. They may seem soft and friendly, but it mustn't be forgotten that these dogs can be trained to hunt and kill the likes of wild boars. There was one pretty horrific case that befell a 15-month-old toddler in Texas when her ear was partially bitten off by a Great Dane owned by the child's grandmother. The poor Todd had to undergo reconstructive surgery on her right ear. However, it turned out that the dog had been abused by its previous owners and had only recently switched homes. He only lived with this woman for two months prior to this incident, and arguably hadn't been trained correctly by the previous owners. Unfortunately, he was put in quarantine for 10 months at the local shelter before inevitably being put down. Number 4. Belgian Malinois a canine often mistaken for a smaller German Shepherd, the Belgian Malinois is mainly utilized as a herding dog due to its high intellect and stamina. This has led to them having a tremendously good reputation as guard dogs and police dogs. Unfortunately, these dogs also have a history of aggression, especially around children and other animals. They have a bite force of 195 PSI, which means they are not to be reckoned with. The dog itself does have very similar attributes to the German Shepherd, but there are a few significant differences in their body structure and temperament. They are, of course, much smaller and, as a result, have smaller bones. They also stand with considerable weight on their toes, which gives them a square body profile, something the German Shepherd can't quite achieve. They can be fawn-colored, red, or brown, and their tips are usually a jet black. Their heads are well-refined and more chiseled in comparison to the German Shepherd, and they also have smaller and more triangular ears. 
Even with their track record, these dogs do tend to struggle a little with harsher training methods and can be quite sensitive. Some are really friendly and assertive, whilst others can be rather reserved and aloof around new people. Realistically, they should only go to homes of people that are experienced with guard dogs so that they can get the proper care and training they need. They just won't cut it with people that aren't around often or work long hours. Number 3. Cane Corso Another large member of the canine family is the Cane Corso, a breed that can grow almost 28 inches and weigh well over 100 pounds. These dogs are experts in being guardians of the land. Along with a considerably large-scale head, these pups are very alert and have muscles that ripple beneath a short and stiff coat. They look rather menacing and can be quite intimidating when considering their size, which many would argue is their first line of defense in the event of an intruder. The dog has been described as having an understated air of cool competence, the kind of demeanor you'd expect from a professional bodyguard. Cane Corso are gifted intellectually. They are very eager animals that are incredibly loyal and versatile. However, without the proper training, they can be very aggressive and deadly. Most of the time, the breed is considered stable and reliable, but they can be standoffish around new people. Number 2. Wolf Dog it doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell you that wolf-dog hybrids are very aggressive creatures. They are exactly what the name describes, a wolf and dog combination. Wolves and dogs are interfertile. This means they are able to mate and in turn produce offspring. Dogs have plenty of years worth of domestication behind them, while wolves have very little. When wolves reach a certain level of maturity, their behavior is impacted. This tends to result in them asserting themselves individually within their packs. Packs are no laughing matter either. They are incredibly competitive business, and wolves often fight to achieve higher positions in these packs. Wolves will challenge the pack leader to achieve a higher position in the pack, whereas in a domestic situation, the owner is the pack leader. This may result in some unsettling behavioral adjustments whilst transitioning. Territory is a big thing for the wolf hybrid, as they use urination as a way to mark this. It's very possible the individuals they aren't familiar with will induce a strong response from the hybrid. However, this hybrid is very inconsistent in terms of offspring, meaning that it is one of, if not the most unpredictable dog breed in existence. With differing traits, you could see a very laid-back hybrid or an incredibly aggressive and untrustworthy war dog. Many believe that the hybrids just aren't suitable pets, and years of unfortunate incidents and abuse certainly backs up those beliefs. They are genuinely difficult to train due to their unpredictability and stubbornness. The only real way to properly train a wolf hybrid would be to own a large portion of land so that it has acres of room to let out all of its boisterous tendencies. Wolves and dogs simply shouldn't be crossbred. It's an unfair mix. The dog is an animal that is a companion and can easily transition into domestication, while wolves are built for the wild and are very aggressive. It's just a ridiculous combo. Number 1. Akita Inu Akitas are usually rather large, with big, strong bones and elite-class burliness. They have an imposing appearance and a rather quiet nature to them. They are always affectionate towards their owners and family, but as with many others on this list, are very protective. These dogs do not play well with other animals, and without the proper precautions, may not socialize well with humans either. Initially used for royal guarding in feudal Japan, the Akita Inu has evolved through time, even being used to hunt wild boars and black bears. It is a fearless breed that doesn't back down from a challenge, which reflects what they are capable of when in defense of their families. They can be rather dangerous and territorial around strangers, but with proper care and a decent upbringing, they can also reflect many positive characteristics. They do tend to shed and drool quite frequently when they are settled into a home, so owners shouldn't be expecting it to be a clean and easy task when taking on this lovable canine. Either way, these pups are loyal to the very end and are perfectly suitable for an owner who has experience with larger guard dogs, although it's best to keep them on their lonesome since their track record with other animals isn't so great. When it comes to dogs, the choice is yours. Big, small, boisterous, quiet, clever, or maybe a little ditzy, it's your decision as to what best fits into your family dynamic. But be warned, 
it pays to be careful when choosing your new canine friend. You don't want to be putting yourself or your loved ones in any danger, do you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!